G'day YouTubers, how you all going? My name's Wilfred West, Wilfred's PC World, Lake Cottage in Locksport, Victoria, Australia. Today's date is the 14th of 3rd, 2015, and it's uh, 18 to 9 in the morning. Now we're testing this, um, uh, we're testing the um, GoPro out again. We're on uh, medium settings, we don't have the filter on. Um, with 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. I uh, hope you liked the video, and if so, please subscribe. Get the three points. It's uh, very tight uh, up there in the table, so it was a very crucial game for us today. And um, just happy to have the three points. Uh, you know, and uh, of course, I'm very happy to always as well. Two matches taking place today in the game league. Melbourne City played in basketball for its clash. Wellington. Bring it out, New Zealand captain Brendan McCullum says his side will have to lift to a new level for the quarterfinals, but they will push by Bangladesh in their final four game in Hamilton. Kiwis warmed up to the knockout stage with a three week win to remain unbeaten in six uh, with six victories. The, but the Black Caps had a bit of a scare as they chased down their target of 289. Kiwis finished on 7 for 290 with seven balls remaining. Kiwis are now waiting to see who they'll face weekend in Wellington. And McCullum says regardless of their opponents, this side will still have to play and it doesn't bother us who we play. I think we can reach the levels that we expect of ourselves and, and put in a, a really strong performance and we will be hard to beat. It doesn't guarantee our success but we will be hard to beat. So uh, look, there's uh, all the teams that are remaining in this competition have got match winners throughout. Um, so we need to be on the goal and we've got a few days now to go first to really start to channel our thoughts into that quarter final and make sure we turn up and we deliver our business. Driving down to um, Surf Beach, we're also going to go to the bakery and then later we'll get back home. We'll get up and we're going to go vote today. Now, I actually feel sorry for any nation, any country that doesn't have mandatory voting. And the reason why I say this is because we have one of the best voting systems in the world. Even though we've voted Tony Aberdeen and all that. Um, but that's how I choose majority of Australians though voted him in. Okay, but think about this. We don't... If we see a politician like saying politicians corrupt or, or they're trying to change the law that's not going to benefit Australia or Australians, right? It's not going to benefit themselves or a rich person, right? And all their own personal companies which their wife owns and so forth. And we can change it. We can vote the bastard out the next election. Or even have one, um, or even have what, what's known as the Queen's representation kick him out. Right? Um, or kick, can't close the government down if it's corrupt. You can't do that in a lot of other countries. You can't do that in America because the majority of Americans don't vote. Right? I'm, I think America could be a hundred times. Two, two people went on TV 
big, but not for this thing. Once the Liberal Party, party said that it was the National Party said that it's well, basically the National Party is the Liberal Party's bitch. Now, the National Party, all they've done is taken a whole bunch of photos, put them together, and did a voiceover. I mean, how pathetic of an ad are they? Uh, is that? I mean, that's sad. At least the bloke who was the National Party, which is the Liberal bitch, he actually comes on and says it, you know, his proper voice, and has a little bit of substance in his speech. At least he's system we have which is quite good I like um, get your state and you get your federal government and all that um, you also got councils which I'm not quite sure if we do really need the councils but eh, that I'm still looking into and all that you could make you could either a remove the councils so you only have state and federal governments B expand the councils so they cover a bigger area which then of course not as good because they'll look after all as the richer people I find they look after those then actually the poor areas um, or you could actually shrink the councils down so that they become smaller so you'd have a council say for blocks poor right, in an area that covers then you'd have a separate council for another another area right, and shrink the councils down which I think might be the better way to go because then of course that council's got to look after that Signing those, 
the majority of the Victorians did not want them to um, head east for Lincoln Tunnel or more. But they went ahead and signed them because they're looking after the big business mates. Now we've got Tony Abbott telling them, trying to save the Victorian program, um, that, oh no, no, you, you've got to have that there, right? You're just trying to tell them that you've got to keep this, 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 this tunnel. Don't, 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 don't try to change it for legislation. What a joke you are, Tony Abbott. I uh, hope to God you get voted out next election.